Columbo Yinipingu's source of inspiration for Garak the Universe and Garak One, which at first glance appears to be a literal representation of the Milky Way, is an important customary and ancestral story, particularly for the Ongu people of northeast Arnhem Land, where the artist lives and works. However, Yinipingu has stated that her art is about the entire universe, all of the stars that can be seen by the naked eye, and everything that exists far beyond any scientific expedition or estimation. She shares this approach with the late and Matera artist Emily Kang Nwari, who made the emphatic statement that her work was our way, the whole lot. Everything that can be imagined and all that is beyond the imagination. Garak the Universe is an impressive larikij, or hollow funeral pole, and is masterful in scale and in the lyrical way the artist has followed the form and surface structure of the trunk, using similar tones to catch the light on the log's contours, mirroring the changes in density of the Milky Way. Unipingu's style is unlike the majority of northeast Arnhem Land art, which is almost always based on fine cross-hatching, or rark, sacred design. The unusual aspect of her work is the lack of figurative representation present in so much of the work from northeast Arnhem Land. When Yunipungu looks at the stars, she thinks about the universe, all around, and about every clan and every colour of people who in all corners of the world can look up and see the stars. The stars are also spirits of Yongu, who exist within specific bodies of water in northeast Arnhem Land when they are not in corporeal form. They exist in the astral dimension as well as ethereally within the water on an earthly plane.